King 5 News. New research shows levels of wastewater contaminants discharged into Puget Sound rank among the highest in the country. King 5 environmental reporter Allison Morrow shows us what scientists found in the fish that swim in that water and how the chemicals could affect their survival. By the time wastewater makes it through the Tacoma Central plant, it's turned from a light brown color to nearly clear. Ducks and seagulls swim in the final effluent before it's discharged to Commencement Bay. But that doesn't mean it's free of contaminants. About 60-some uh, percent of the chemicals we analyzed for were detected. Some of the concentrations were fairly high. James Metter and Andrew Ye conducted research through the University of Washington. They tested juvenile Chinook and staghorn sculpin at two sites near wastewater treatment plants around Puget Sound. The most abundant um, pharmaceutical we found was metformin, which is used for diabetes. They also found high levels of antidepressants in Chinook brain tissue. Hormones, antibiotics, and personal care products tested at some of the highest levels in the country. Triclosan, uh, which is a very common uh, antimicrobial agent uh, found in hand soap, toothpaste, shampoo. The medicine may throw off the natural balance of good bacteria in Puget Sound. The contaminants may also affect fish at a cellular level, hurting their metabolism, reproduction, and growth. Growth for juvenile salmon is extremely important for their first year, so any inhibition of that growth probably means death for them. Until now, little was known about specific chemicals from wastewater in Puget Sound. And the fact that we found many of them in salmon and another species of fish is, is enough to warrant some, some more research. Now the scientists want to know how the combination of chemicals could interact to create a toxic pharmaceutical marine matrix. And just throwing the whole um, ecosystem out of whack obviously is not a good thing. So if you're affecting some species, it kind of cascades through the food web. Near Commencement Bay, Allison Morrow, King 5 News.